Hey, the Dolphins sit high atop the AFC after 13 weeks of action, and that means it's an exciting time, and rumors are heating up. We got a couple of spicy rumors to talk about on today's show, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a minute Dolphins video every day. Let's get it going with this edition of Dolphins Today. Welcome in. I'm your host, Jake Reitma, and let's begin where we kind of ended yesterday's show talking about one of the news items from the weekend, and that is the unfortunate injury news surrounding Jerome Baker. He's been playing tremendously all season long, but unfortunately, a case of friendly fire knocked him out of the game against the Washington Commanders. It's a knee injury. It's believed not to be season-ending, but obviously it is a huge hit to the Dolphins' defense, especially when you look at the production from Jerome Baker all season. 65, sa or 65 tackles, that'd be a lot of sacks. Two sacks and two interceptions, and has done a tremendous job in the middle of that defense and for first-year defensive coordinator Vic Fangio. So obviously a huge loss. Now, how did the Dolphins try to react to that loss and perhaps replace Jerome Baker? Well, according to NFL insider Adam Schefter, former first-round pick Reuben Foster is set to visit the Miami Dolphins and work out for them on Wednesday as a potential free agent signing. Now, Reuben Foster, that's probably a name you recognize. There's some familiarity to that name because, like I said, he was a first-round pick by the San Francisco 49ers back in 2017. Had a prolific college career at Alabama, obviously a premier program there, and played under Nick Saban and really was one of the more decorated players coming out of Alabama and had a really bright future. Now, there's a lot that's followed Reuben Foster throughout his career, which we'll touch on in a moment. But he last played football for the Pittsburgh Maulers of the USFL in the spring of 2023. So he hasn't played in the NFL since 2018, but perhaps reinventing himself with the production that you saw in the USFL. And kind of that's, you could make the case, that's why the league was invented. But 52 tackles and an interception in eight games with the Pittsburgh Maulers in the USFL. So you think about the Baker injury and how can the Dolphins reload and restack that defense? Reuben Foster and his workout Wednesday might be a glimpse into what the Dolphins front office are thinking. So I ask you, knowing what you know now, do you want the Dolphins to sign Reuben Foster? It's real simple and it's our pinned comment of today's video. So if YouTube hits you with that ad break, don't even worry. Just type Y for yes or type N for no. Let me know in the comments. Coming up, we'll talk a little bit more about Reuben Foster and his potential position with the Dolphins and how he could make an impact on the defensive side for the Miami Dolphins. But first, I got to give a huge shout out to today's presenting sponsor, Factor Meals. And folks, I've been telling you about Factor Meals for a couple of weeks now. And you know I love them. I had the Factor Meal beef casserole yesterday during Monday Night Football. It was delicious and super convenient. Come home late from work. Not a big deal. Only takes two minutes to heat up. And I've got a full meal ready to go, which is especially beneficial because this holiday season, you're probably looking for nutritious, convenient meals to keep you energized on jam-packed days. Factor, America's number one ready-to-eat meal delivery service can help you fuel up for breakfast, lunch, and dinner with chef-prepared, dietitian approved ready-to-eat meals delivered straight to your door. So you'll save time and you'll eat well, which is really nice this time of year especially, all while staying on track with your healthy lifestyle and tackling, of course, all of your holiday to do. So if you're like me, you're probably too busy with those holiday plans, and you're too busy to cook. You don't want to meal prep or do anything like that, but you want to make sure you're eating well. So with Factor, you skip the extra trip to the grocery store. You skip the chopping, the prepping, the cleaning. You don't have to dirty all the dishes and all the containers and everything like that, and you're still getting all the flavor and nutritional quality that you need. Factor's fresh, never frozen meals are ready in just two minutes. So all you have to do is heat and enjoy, just like I did last night during Monday Night Football. So head to FactorMeals.com slash FinsChat50 and use code FinsChat50 to get 50% 
off. I'm going to say it to you one more time because I love you and I care about you. That's code FINSCHAT50 at factormeals.com slash FINSCHAT50 to get 50% off. So when you talk about Reuben Foster, there's a lot that needs to be discussed. Like I said, former first-round pick, obviously a very talented player. Now, that was a while ago. We're talking 2017, 2018, and one of probably the main reasons it hasn't necessarily worked out for Reuben Foster or it didn't work out for Reuben Foster in the NFL in his first go-round was the checkered past. And it's difficult to talk about everything that Reuben Foster was involved in, but the point being is the guy has had a lengthy rap sheet over the course of his career, starting with the early years when he finished at Alabama and then the transition into the National Football League was not exactly smooth. He was sent home from the 2017 NFL Combine after an altercation, and in addition to being sent home, he failed his drug test at the NFL Combine. So kind of two strikes there. Not great. 2018, he was charged with possession of marijuana. Those charges were later dropped. And obviously, times are a little bit different now when you think about what's legal in some states and what might not be legal and so on and so forth. But obviously, there's stuff there. There's substance. He had some issues. Now, fast forward into 2018 charged with first-degree domestic violence. Those charges were also later dropped, but there was a second domestic violence case in addition to possession of weapons illegally. So the bottom line that I take from this is, hey, there's there's some stu stuff here. A lot of times, you know, use the saying where there's smoke, there's fire, that sort of thing. So that's the big reason it hasn't worked out for Reuben Foster yet and why there are so many big questions when you bring up the name Reuben Foster combined with the fact the last time he played in the NFL was 2018. But hey, if you look at the tape from the USFL, maybe it's a guy that can help you, a guy that you bring in in the practice squad and so on and so forth. So I think the biggest question that I'm kind of toying with in my mind, has he reinvented himself in the USFL? And can he stay out of trouble if given another opportunity? And when you think, again, when you think about Reuben Foster, kind of difficult to be the guy that, you know, without knowing him, say, yeah, he's totally fine. He's turned himself around. He will, in fact, reinvent himself. This would be a great addition. Or maybe you say, look, there's a lot there. Uh, the Dolphins got a great thing going right now, 9-3 and three in the AFC and first place in the AFC. Do you really want to bring in a potential disruption to the locker room? So I think the best way to summarize it is there's a lot of questions, and it kind of represents a big risk one that I'm not necessarily ready for the Dolphins to make. But on the same side of things, you got to look at this depth chart, and there's not a lot of names at the inside linebacker position, so not a lot of depth there. We believe, based on what we saw in Washington, that Duke Riley will be filling in for Jerome Baker in his absence, in his injury absence. We still don't know exactly how long Jerome Baker will be out, but the point being is you don't see a lot of names there. So, I asked you earlier in the show, do you want to sign him, yes or no? Here I'm going to open it up to you. What are your thoughts on signing Reuben Foster? I don't want to restrict you to just a yes or no question, but let me know what you think. I love reading the comments from all of our viewers because there's a lot here. There's multiple layers to this, and there is some risk, but there's also some potential roar, reward when you think about a former first-round pick that could potentially help you at a position of need. So with that said, whatever the Dolphins decide to do, you know we've got you covered, and that is why you subscribe. So we'll see how Reuben Foster's workout goes on Wednesday. We'll keep you posted on that. We'll have a preview coming up of, on the Week 14 matchup for the Miami Dolphins on Monday Night Football against the Titans. We've got daily Dolphins content, live shows, live watch parties, and, of course, when breaking news happens, we've got you covered. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. Now, I want to wrap up today's show with some fun, kind of exciting, you know, some, a little bit different stuff. Because if you watched Monday Night Football last night and you watched the Manning cast, you saw our guy, Tua Tungavailoa, hanging out with the Manning brothers. And I got to give a lot of credit because 
Sometimes the Manning cast, you know, it, it can be a roller coaster. Sometimes it's funny, sometimes it's awkward, and I thought Tua was one of the better guests, and he had both Eli and Peyton Manning laughing hysterically. He also busted out his hidden talent. Who knew that Tua Tagovailoa was so musically inclined? He was playing the guitar, Peyton was singing some nonsense, and again, it was it was entertaining. The entertainment value was there, especially if you're a Dolphins fan. But what it led to, after we saw Tua Tagovailoa play the guitar, DolphinsTalk.com tweeted out, Darius Rucker, I think we need a t we need you and Tua the studio for a jam session after the season. So of course, Darius Rucker, one of the most famous country singers, and his response was legendary, simple to the point. Darius Rucker publicly said on Twitter, I'm in. So, hey, I think we got to make this happen sometime. Jam session between Tua and Darius Rucker. If you want to see it happen, type Tua in the comments because obviously we'll wait till after the season. We got a lot of things going on for the Aqua and Orange, but I think this would be legendary. It'd be one more way Tua could show how he's the most talented guy out there. What can he do? He's an MVP candidate. And oh yeah, by the way, he plays a mean guitar. You combine that with Darius Rucker. And that, my friends, is some entertainment. The Let's Make It Happen type Tua in the comments. Because if I know one thing about Dolphins today and the followers and the crew that we have, we can make things happen so let's do it. Type to it in the comments. Hey, that's going to do it for me. Hope you enjoyed today's show. And like I said, subscribe to the channel because we'll keep you posted as everything develops. And a lot of exciting things. We're talking a first place Dolphins team. We're talking playoff pictures and anything else that might break in the coming days and weeks. So subscribe to the channel. Shout out to producer Jack on the ones and twos. Always a pleasure and always a pleasure being with each and every one of you. Appreciate you watching the show and we'll see you next time on Dolphins Today.